All right, so this guy left a comment on my channel. Uh, the video was about finding jobs as a contractor, and he says, I know how to do the job, but I don't know how to navigate through the internet, and that's why I'm trying to learn, and your videos push me a few steps forward. So for you, hopefully this video pushes you even a few more steps forward. Uh, this last winter has been really hard on everybody. I talk to 10 to 20 contractors around the country every day, and across the board, maybe 80% of them are telling me like, yeah, this winter has been slower than most. And it started in November and it's just now starting to pick up, it's March. And coming right out of a rough winter, a lot of guys don't have the budget to invest in marketing. They want to, they know they don't wanna go through this again. Uh, they know that they've been needing this a while. Um, but when they talk to companies like mine about marketing services, they hear the price and they're like, I just can't do that right now. Like, let me come back in a few months and, and then I can afford it. Or I just need to get one more big job and then I can do it. So it's like a catch 22. They need the job, but they need the marketing to get the job, but they need the job to pay for the marketing. So um, if I was starting over, if I, if I was in that predicament today, I have a tiny bit of Having a tiny bit of computer skills, obviously I'm pretty good with a computer now, but um, eight years ago I didn't know anything about marketing. Uh, but these days we have a tool called AI. Everybody's heard of it. Um, there's a few types of AI. I like to use one called Claude. Claude AI has been my favorite lately. Before that I used ChatGPT. Um, Google just came out with a, a new Gemini model like two days ago that's supposed to be really great. I don't think it matters too much which one you use, but I use Claude. And I just wanna give you a little demonstration of what you can do on your own, even with limited computer skills. Um, so I'm gonna record my screen and just show you this. So we start out with this document, it's called Google Maps Marketing Strategies for Home Service Businesses in 2025. So I, my company buys the 200 a month chat GPT subscription uh, so that I can mess around with it. And I used ChatGPT Pro's deep research to create this, this, this outline of this marketing strategy. And it was an experiment for me because we, my company's been doing this kind of marketing for a long time. And I wanted to see if this AI went out and read 50 websites online and compiled everything into a strategy, what would it look like? And when I did so, I saw that the, the strategy it came up with is almost identical to what we do. We do things a little bit, like there's some nuance to the way we do it. This likes to generalize and, and give blanket advice. And so as I go through it, I'll try to add some of those tidbits. But for the most part, it's hard for me to know the specifics without being able to look at a specific business. Um, so that is something that we do. If you want me to take a look at your business, I can. Um, but what you can do, you can go to our website, download this file, and just copy this whole thing. And I'm going to use Claude. You can use ChatGPT or anything you want. And I just pasted this file in here. And I said, um, take this overview and create a step-by-step -step guide for me to do this myself. I'm a landscaping contractor with very little experience with computers. So I'm telling it who I am and giving it some information about me so it knows how to help me the best. And in like 15 seconds, it comes up with this step-by-step -step list. Now I'm not gonna go through every step here because that would take up way too much time and it's not necessary. But what you need to do is you can even ask Claude like, hey Claude, I have a Mac computer. Help me create a hotkey for taking a screenshot. You need to be able to take screenshots. Um, that might be the most technical thing you have to have to do is set up a hotkey to take screenshots. Um, but the reason is you can go through step by step. The first part of this is about setting up your Google business profile. And when you get to the screen where you have to input your business information, you can just take a screenshot of that screen, paste it in the Claude and say, Claude, tell me exactly what to type and where. And it will tell you exactly, it'll, you can just copy paste what it gives you and put it in there. And you can do that every step of the way. The cool thing about using AI to help you do things 
is if you don't know how to do any given step, you just ask the AI for more information and it will keep instructing you down to like what button to click on and when. So there's really no reason without enough time that you can figure out how to do this without having to become an expert at marketing. Um, so first step, set up your Google business profile, verify it. Um, I can see that they're saying that you need to verify with a postcard by mail. Google doesn't do that anymore. They haven't been doing that for a while. Uh, you have to do a video now, but Google will tell you what to do. Hey, we need you to do a video with X, Y, and Z in it. Copy paste it into Claude and say, Claude, what do I do? And it'll tell you exactly what to do. Um, it'll walk you through how to complete the profile. Again, take a screenshot of every page. If you're adding your services in, take a screenshot, put it in. Hey, what's the best way to do this, Claude? And it'll tell you. Um, get reviews. If you've been watching my channel for any, if you watch any of my videos, you've heard me say how re important reviews are, responding to them. Step two is creating a simple website. So it's saying, hey, take a user-friendly option like Wix or Squarespace. Either one of those is fine for a beginner level website. And same thing, it's telling me, okay, I need a service page for each one of these things. And you can ask it, well, what sections do I need on this page? What, what do I put in each section? And another great thing about AI is you can, you can use voice to text and just brain dump about your business. This is our exact um, process for writing content for our clients. We'll go through each service, lawn maintenance. I'll say, what is lawn maintenance? Who are your clients that hire you to do this? Um, what, what kind of, uh, what do you do for lawn maintenance? If someone calls and they want an estimate, what do you ask them? What do they ask you? Just brain dump everything you can think of related to lawn maintenance, and then the AI will turn this into some well-written sections for you. Normally, we would go through and edit those and make sure that they are optimized, but even if they are 50% optimized, it's 100% better than nothing. So Claude can help you go through, design your website. You can take screenshots of it, put it in, say, hey, what should I fix? If you don't have an eye for design, it can help you. You're not gonna end up with something perfect, but done is better than perfect in this situation. Because if you don't have this stuff now, then you're just missing out on customers that you should be getting. Um, you can see there's a common theme about your contact information. We call that NAP, name, address, phone number. That just has to be the same everywhere. So the same info you put in your Google listing is the same info you put on your website, your Facebook, everywhere on the internet that mentions your company, it all has the same information. Um, it's going to it's going to tell you to add a Google map to your contact page. If you don't know how to do that, which you probably don't, ask Claude, how do I do that? How do I do it in Wix? Take a screenshot of the whole screen. Claude will help you find the right button to click on to find out how to do it. Um, there's an underlying theme here that is you can be extremely empowered by using AI. It doesn't have to be just for marketing. You can do it for estimating. You can do it for... Um, thinking through a project, troubleshooting things. Like you can, a lot of times you could probably take a picture of like an engine you're working on and say, what part is this? And it would probably be able to help you figure out what it is. Like it's really amazing. And developing the skill of how to use it, you can start applying it to everything you do. You can see behind me, I have three screens in front of me here. There's no part of the day where AI isn't open on one of these screens. I, I use it all day, every day. Um, even to just help me keep track of things I'm working on and stuff like that. Step four, build citations. I'm not going to explain what citations are because Claude can explain it for you or ChatGPT or Gemini. Any of these will tell you all about this. This is a 20 or 30 year old strategy. Uh, there's a million websites about it. Um, local connections, monitor and maintain. How do I monitor? Ask Claude. It will tell you exactly what to look at. Um, at the end of the day, I look at leads. Are leads coming in? Are more leads coming in now than before? Then we're on the right track. We're doing the right things. And 
A few mistakes that I want to point out just because they're so common. Most of you guys will be doing a service area business on Google Maps and you are going to look at your city. Let's just say the Bay Area, California, for example, San Francisco, Oakland, all these areas. And you're going to say, oh, I work in this whole area. So I'm going to set my service area to the whole Bay Area. You don't want to do that because you're basically telling Google, okay, I cover this big of an area and I compete with all thousand of the other contractors in this area. What you want to do, especially when you're in a competitive place like that, is really narrow your service area down to, I always start with your neighborhood, like a two mile radius. Like try to win in the two mile radius around your location and see if you can. Because there's probably enough people in that area to get you some momentum and help you make some money. But if you can't win in your neighborhood, you are never going to win in the whole area. So there's no sense even trying and it can actually hurt you if you set your service area too big. So even if AI tells you, oh, set, set your service area to the whole area that you could cover, don't do that. Uh, set it to a really small spot around you. Um, let's see what other things. Be, I mean, it's telling me, like, I don't even want to go into too much detail because the AI will tell you what to do. Um, if you want to see another video where I actually go more into depth on each one of these things and explain how we do it, um, the way that we do it is going to be about 25, 30% different than the AI does it just because we've been doing this for eight years. We do it for hundreds of contractors a year. We have really specific techni techniques that we do in certain situations. So I can go more into depth than that, but I'm not going to make the video if you're not interested in it. So if you are, drop a comment in the comment section. Tell me you're interested. If there's enough of those comments, then I'll take the time to make that video. So go out there. I recommend trying Claude. It's the best right now in my opinion. Um, but ChatGPT, Gemini is free. Go use Gemini. Whatever you do, just start using these tools and stop waiting around to take action. There's just no excuse anymore. You have a literal robot slave on your computer that has to do everything that you ask it whenever you want. So utilize it while you can before we become the slaves. Good luck. That's crazy. <laughs> if you're going through this and you want to get a little bit of professional help, go to my website. You can uh, schedule a 15 minute call with me to pick my brain. I'll spend 15 minutes with you answering every question you have and doing my best to help you get a jump start on this. So chuckthecontractor.com, use the calendar, schedule a 15 minute call with me, and I'll talk to you soon.